Hello, I'm Wendy from 3D Worldwide. In this video, we will learn how to create a shape using a line spline. We'll use different techniques for creating large curves, wavy lines, straight lines, and rounded corners. So let's get started. We're going to work in the front viewport, so click anywhere to activate it. Then press Alt W to maximize it. Now we'll go over to the left hand corner and click on the word wireframe. From the menu, select Shaded. We'll go back again, and this time we'll select Edged Faces. We're going to need a plane to draw our shape on, so we'll select the plane and drag it out here in the centre of the grid. Let's go up to the Modify panel. Now here in Parameters, Length, we'll type in 50, Width, 50. Now the Length, Segments and Width Segments, we'll leave them set at 4. I'm going to change the colour of the plane for this video. You don't need to do this though. OK. Now we're going to select the Select and Move tool. I'm going to drop right down to the bottom to the Transform dials. Now we can right click on the bottom spinners to bring them back to zero. This will send the object to the centre of the grid. Now with the plane still selected, press Z on the keyboard to zoom in. Now let's go over to the Create panel. Shapes. And now we're going to select a line. Before we go any further, let's drop down to the creation method and just have a little look. By default, the initial type is set to corner and the drag type is set to bezier. Let's have a look what this means. I'm just going to click once to drop the first vertex. I'll hold the mouse down and drag it as I click a few more times. Notice I'm getting a weird shape. These are bezier vertices. If I just move the course without holding the mouse down, I'll get straight lines. If you want to delete the last vertex, just press backspace on the keyboard. OK, what I have to do now is right click to come out of the line creator mode and delete it. For this video, I'm going to change my drag type to corner. We're going to use the lines on the planes as guidelines, but first let's press G on the keyboard to get rid of the grid. We're going to start by drawing the point of the umbrella. Let's go to the top line right in the centre and we'll click once to drop the first vertex. Click again. Now we're going to move right over to the right hand side in the middle. We'll click there. Now we're going to hold the shift key down and just move in to the next line. Click once more. Now we're going to go near the centre, not right on the centre line, but near it. We'll click once more, hold the shift key down and we'll go right down to the bottom edge. Click once more. We're going to draw the shape of our handle, so we'll click again, come up again, say halfway. We'll click again here, another one here in the inside, and we'll come straight up now and click one here. This is the end of our pole. We'll just keep holding the shift key down and we'll come across and click once more, once more. Now let's release the shift key and we'll come right back to the point of the umbrella again. To finish the shape we have to place our last vertex directly on top of the yellow vertex. When we do that a dialogue will appear. We're going to close the spline so just click on yes. Let's go over to the modify panel. We'll go to the subdivision mode and we'll select vertex. Let's zoom in to the top point of our umbrella. Now we can move our vertices. Let's select the yellow vertex first. If I click on the X handle, I'll be able to move the vertex from left to right. If I select the Y, I can come up and down. But if I click on the small yellow box, I can just move it wherever I like. So I'm just going to place it here, right in the centre. I'm going to select the one of the sides and I'm just going to move it in. Something like that. Now I'm going to just pan down to the bottom part of my umbrella. I think we'll come over here to Geometry and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select the Refine tool. With this tool we can add some vertices, so I'm just going to click here right in the middle of these two vertices, just click once. I'm going to do the same again here, and here in the middle, and here now. 
Now I'm just going to right click to come out of the refine mode. Now I'm going to just select them, hold the control key down and I'm going to select the other ones that I've made. There we are, I have all four selected. I'm just going to drag them up. They're a bit pointed. Let's see if we can change this. If I right click in front of the menu, I have Bezier Corner, Bezier, Corner and Smooth. Notice these vertices are set to Corner. I'm going to select Smooth. There we are. That was easy. I can just move this up and down and make my curves larger. Let's scroll down now to the bottom. Let's fix our handle. I think the pole is a little bit wide. So I'm going to come over here now to the subdivision mode and select segment. I shall just select one of these segments and bring it in closer to the center. I'm going to do the same on the other side and bring that one in too. There we are. Might do the same again on the handle. Just bring it in slightly. That's fine. Now I shall go back up to the subdivision mode and I'm going to select Vertex again. Let's zoom in closer so we can work on the tip of the handle. I'll select these two vertices. I'm going to scroll down now under Geometry and I'm going to click on the Fillet tool. Now all I have to do now is drag the cursor up. There we are. Notice now that our two vertices have just joined together. Well, they're not actually joined together. They're very close. Let's select them again. And now we're going to weld them. I'm just going to click on the dial and bring it up to 1. Now I can press the weld tool. There we are. You can see that these two vertices have converted to one vertex. That's good. Let's do the same down here now. We'll select these two vertices. Use our fillet tool. We'll drag them up. And now we're going to do the same again. We'll select these two inner vertices. And we'll just press weld. And we have one vertex again. Let's just zoom out. Now we're going to do the same again in the bottom vertices. Just drag these up. We'll select these two vertices again. Press weld. There we are. That's not bad, but if we like, we can just do a few more tweaks. I'll just zoom in a wee bit. Depending on what your shape looks like, you might like to weld a few more vertices. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my segment mode. I'm going to select this segment, hold the control key down and select the next segment and just drag it down. There we are. I think that's fine there. Now we can carry on with our umbrella. Turn off our line and we're just going to scroll up. I'm just going to change the color so we can see it a little easier for this video. You don't need to do this though. I'll select the blue, then press OK. Let's start to create the large curve for the top of our umbrella. We'll just zoom in again. We'll select our line, go back to our vertex mode. And we're going to select this vertex right here. Right click. And we're going to select busy corner. Notice now we have two handles, two green handles. The small one is for the corner. We're going to use the large one. Just hold it. First of all, let's click on the X handle. Now, this is going to let us move it from side to side. If I select the Y handle, I can come up and down. And if I select the small corner, I can just move it wherever I like. I'll just undo that. Make sure I've got it selected in the corner. I'm just going to drag the handle straight up and then I'm going to stretch it out. I'll stretch it to the right. Something like that. 
Let's do the same now on the left hand side. I'll click this, select this vertex. I'll change it to Bezier Corner. I'm going to grab the large handle, bring it straight up to the handle straight, and then I shall stretch it to the left. There we are. That was easy. Look at the nice curve we have there. But I think the edge looks a little jagged. We can fix that. Let's go over to our Let's scroll up here and we're going to go to Interpolation, click on that and now here in Steps, let's just boost our dial up, bring it up a few bit, say it's something like 12. There we are, that's very smooth now. Click on the word line to come out of the subdivision mode and now we'll go to the modify list. Let's scroll down under object space modifiers and we're just going to select extrude. In the parameters amount, I'm just going to type in one. Press Alt W on the keyboard and we'll go back to all four viewports. There we are. Now we'll select our perspective view Let's press Alt W again to maximize it. I'll select the plane. I'm going to right click and select Hide Selection. Let's press G on the keyboard to get rid of the grid. Now we can orbit around. Very good. But one final tip. If you'd like to make any more adjustments, you can. First of all, let's go over to the left hand corner, click on the word Perspective and choose Front. We're back in the front viewport now. Let's just zoom in. Let's come over to the stack. Now here in the word extrude, I'm going to click on the small light bulb to turn it off. I shall go back into my vertex subdivision mode, select vertex, and maybe I'd like to make these curves a little larger. I'm just going to select these vertices. I'm going to hold the control key down and select all four. And just drag them up. Something like that. Now if I come back over and turn on my light bulb again for the extrude, there we are. There's that. I'll just undo that. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.